everyone, my name is Georgia. Some of you might know me as Peach and Queen Cosplay on Instagram. A few months ago, I was actually chosen to be a rep for Fae Crate, which is a bookish subscription box. And I am here today to do an unboxing for their newest Hanover recovery kit, which are special boxes that they curate to celebrate newest releases in the book world. Their newest Hanover recovery kit came in, and it's to celebrate the release of Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass. Kingdom of Ash is from one of my favorite series, Throne of Glass. Um, if you haven't already read the series, why? So but anyways, let's get to the unboxing. This is the box. I opened the mail last night and I actually, I don't know what I was expecting the box to look like. I've Okay, I've never actually gotten a bookish subscription box before. So this is my first one. So this unboxing might be a little rough, just so everyone is aware. Um, it's going to be a little rough. But I didn't expect for the box to look like this. I thought it was just going to be a plain box, honestly. And like, not that there would have been anything wrong with that, but this is extra. So, oh my god, when did my cat... Okay, so we're going to open this the Selena way here. Tweet. We're just going to go with it. When you first open it, it says, Caution, Mass Destruction Ahead. Okay, so, I guess this is how we're gonna do it. Okay, so, okay, so there's a little card in here. Oh, shoot, I don't wanna read this because it's explaining everything. Okay, 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 there's actually like an art print on it, but I'm not gonna read the back because it's explaining everything that's inside right now, and I wanna pull everything out and have it be a surprise. Um, so, but this is the first surprise, I guess. So this artwork is actually by Gabriella Bujdoso, who I'm really familiar with from Instagram, and I've loved her stuff for a long time. She makes the most beautiful art, and honestly, if you asked me to pick a favorite, I wouldn't be able to. I definitely recommend you check out her artwork if you haven't already, because she's amazing. Side note, I'll actually be putting all the links to these artists and everyone featured in this crate in the description box below, so you guys can have those links and all that fun stuff. Okay, so... <gasps> Wait, I know what this is. Oh my gosh. Ah! He, his hair is, he's so soft. I'm gonna need to keep this away from my cats because honestly, they're gonna steal Rowan from me. It's so cute, oh my God, it's Rowan. But oh my gosh, I need to keep him so far away from my cats. Oh my God, his little, his little frown, his little frown. Every time I look at him, I like notice something else I like love about this plushie. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm like really focusing on the ears right now, and they're the best thing. Ah! Oh my god! Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, I think it's a candle. Oh my god! That is the cutest idea! Oh my god! Okay, wait. Okay, I got so excited to smell it and by the idea of it that I like didn't even tell you guys what it is. It is a candle that literally is called bromance. Oh my god. It's literally called bromance. And actually there's a quote on it from Era Fire. He understood that the prince was his brother in soul. I love you. So it says for the description of like the sense, Kaol's hard-headedness and Dorian's sarcasm. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought it said like Kaol's headdress at first. That's how badly I can't read in these contacts right now. And I was very confused for a second. I was trying to remember if he wore some like headdress in Tower of Dawn during that like sex party it wasn't even a sex party but whatever that party was that party that happened that went down that got steamy i thought that's what it was talking about and i was really confused for a second it says hard-headedness it's very like clean and fresh i can't okay i don't know like i'm very bad at describing like scents in terms of like the actual ingredients because i suck but so it's like a very clean airy like smell <sighs> i'm sniffing i'm sniffing so much at once i'm like taking up all my air out of my lungs and like I need to recharge. So this is like completely pointless of me to try to ex figure out what these scents are. It smells good, that's what matters. It smells good. <laughs> when did Rowan fall? When did that happen? Next item. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm grabbing like 10 things at once, so it's kind of hard. Drinking chocolate? Oh, pro like hot, <laughs> probably like hot cocoa. I was really confused for a second. Okay, so it's just like hot cocoa mix, but it says it's called like Aelin's chocolate cake. Like the chocolate cake, mm -hmm. Aelin like makes for Rowan during like air fire and so actually this is so this is by the Albion Tea Company I hope I said that right Albion I can hardly read right now guys Albion 
Albion? Albion Tea, I'm gonna go with Albion. Albion Tea Company, I am so sorry. Albion Tea Company, if I said that wrong. Next item, so I'm gonna take it out before I tell you what it is. It's a pin with the mark of Brandon on it. So it actually says on the back, just in little font, names are not important. It's what lies inside of you that matters. And then on the front, it has the mark of Brandon, and then it says, Survivor of Mass Destruction, Nameless is my prize. <laughs> So this is my LK Design Studio, and I actually, I love the, the idea of this because we really don't see a lot with, in, in like art or items or anything that you can buy, we don't see a lot with the mark of Brandon, which is really weird because that's actually like really important to the story, and we never see stuff like that, and I love that they did this because this is, this is unique, I like, I'm a fan. Okay, I think we're getting to the bottom, I think, that's all. Is it a pillow? Is it a pillow? Wait, it's a pillowcase. Do not be afraid of what makes you shine brightly. This is so cute. I love, I love, it's the, it's the key to the match colors. It's, it, guys, this is really soft. I don't have a pillow that is this soft in anywhere in my house. Can we just like admire how beautiful this design is, please? There's, we have two gold rings. We have one at the top and one at the bottom in the corner there. And then there's a bunch of floral designs all around. Oh, there's another gold ring. Okay, there's another gold ring. This is so soft. So this pillowcase is actually by Katarina Book Designs. This is the softest pillowcase I've ever felt in my life. Okay, I'm excited about it. If this is what I think it is, it's, I don't know what I'm excited about. It is, ah, oh my God, I finally have it in my hands, ah. Okay, so this is the same design that I showed on the print earlier. It is a throw blanket by Gabriella Bujdozdo again. And it has all our faves on it. It's very lightweight, but it's also like really soft at the same time. Whoa, this is like really detailed actually. See, I get like you can see the details on the on the print, but like you really, really see them on the blanket. And that's what's really awesome about this, because you really cannot see those I of Elena word marks on the on the art print. I'm so happy with this blanket. Oh my goodness. I can't fold it back up. So I don't know if there's anything here. Oh there are God, there's like, this is like a Mary Poppins box. Okay, so this is a little wall hanging. It's in the shape of a flame, and it says, she was the heir of ash and fire, and she would bow to no one. A quote from Heir of Fire, and it says Sarah Janass, Heir of Fire at the bottom. So this is by Hello World Paper Company and Stamps. This is another theme like the pin that is so nice and unique in this box, because this isn't something, I wouldn't have thought to like, go out of my way to look for a, a like, wooden wall hanging for Throne of Glass online and so it's like I really like that they chose to put this in here because it's just like it's something I wouldn't have thought of looking at all this stuff that I took out the box makes me so happy there's something in here so okay so so we have an art print on both sides it's kind of like a postcard one of those really nice souvenir postcards you get where it's just like really sturdy and it's gonna stay up on my bookshelf by itself and that's what I like so it actually is by Danny Marie Draws and if you aren't familiar with her artwork she's another fantastic artist that we have in the fandom and so for this box she did a Kale and Irene picture and then on the back we have Sartak and Nasrin. I just I can't get over like the colors she chose to use for this because they're so fun look at how they just pops on the bookshelf oh that's so adorable okay I need to stop looking at it because like, I'm gonna keep looking there's literally another thing in here. Oh my god. It's with the bromance candle. Oh my goodness. It's a sticker version of the art that's on the candle. The bromance candle. So that artwork on the candle and on the sticker by Aparin. And it's actually adorable. Do Dorian has like his magic in there. I didn't notice that. So Dorian has his little magic on the bottom there. That is so cute. It's like a, it's another item where just, the detail is so fun and so nice. Oh, Kale and Dorian. So I believe that actually is everything this time. Okay, yes, this time we are good. So that does wrap up everything that was in the box for Fae Crates Kingdom of Ash Hanover Recovery Kit. I said wrap up and I'm like wrapped up in a blanket. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But we'll have all the artists and all the items in the box listed in the description, as well as links to everyone's social media accounts and websites so you can look at their other stuff that they have. Fae Crate does have their monthly subscription box that you can subscribe to buy. They also do have these special Hanover Recovery Kits that come out every 
so often. So yeah, please go check out Fake Crate. It's one of my two lovely ladies who really put their heart and souls in making these boxes to make these as special as possible and as exclusive as possible. It's not easy to find all these rare items to put in a box like this to celebrate a new book coming out. So please go show them the love. And actually, if you received a Fake Crate hangover recovery kit for Kingdom of Ash, Please tag me in your post, your videos, whatever. I want to see your unboxing. I want to see your pictures with all the fun items that were in this box because I'm so excited about this box. I've been excited since I saw it was announced. I'm still excited about it and it's already, it's over, it's over. But I'm just looking at everything here. It's so fun. And I want to see you guys have fun with all the stuff you received. So please tag me in all your photos or videos or whatever so I can check them out and have fun geeking out with you guys. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon.